finding parts, subtracting. Whole minus part equals part. We've already learned that part plus part equals whole. We multiply or add parts together to get a whole. But what about the opposite? Ways to find a missing part. Whole minus part equals part. Or part plus missing part equals whole. We use subtraction to find that answer. Early understanding of subtraction is the idea of taking away. Take away a part from the whole and you've got a part left. Is that all there is? Wait, wait, there's more! How much do I need to add to get to my whole? In takeaway situations, we start with the whole thing, take something away, and figure out what we have left. What if we know a part and we want to get to the whole? This truck is only partly full. Let's load it up. The fully loaded truck would have 20 boxes. Right now I've got 12 in there. How many more can I fit in? Whole minus part equals part. Subtract to find the missing part. 20 minus 12 equals 8. We can fit 8 more boxes. 8 plus 12 equals 20. Part plus part is whole. 20 minus 12 equals 8. 20 minus 8 equals 12. Whole minus part equals part. 20 is the whole. 12 and 8 are the parts. It's the same value, different ways to talk about it. Road trip. It's 90 miles from Springfield to Champaign. I've driven part of the trip, 30 miles. How much further do I have to go? Whole minus part equals part. 90 minus 30, 60 miles to go. 90 minus 30 is 60. 90 minus 60 is 30. Another example on the number line. I need 12 of something. You make it up. I have five of them. How many more do I need? Subtract to find the part. I need seven more of whatever it is I need. To sum it all up, parts add up to the holes. If we want to know how much more to get to the hole, we're looking for a part. Whole minus part equals part. And the legal stuff. Feel free to share this.